Hello, my name is Samuel Keith Harris. Welcome back to another episode of Morning Devotionals. I hope you're doing well this morning and I've come to encourage you and to just get into the presence of the Lord with you this morning. So let's pray. Father, I thank you we can come into your presence and worship you and long for you and delight in you, Father. Give us your spirit now, Father. Wash us in your holy presence, O Lord. We love you, Lord. Teach us from your word. And may we be propelled into the day to be your servants. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. If you have your Bibles, I'm going to be in Matthew chapter 6. I want to share a couple verses with you and send you on your way for the day. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 5 I'll be reading. Matthew 6, 5. The Bible says, When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. So they just pray in public on street corners or they go into the churches and they only pray in the church, but they don't pray in the secret place. What does the Bible say? I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. So people seeing their prayers and praising them for praying beautifully, that's all the reward they will ever get. Verse six, but when you pray, so here's how we should be praying. Here's how you should be praying today. When you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father in secret. Then your Father who sees everything will reward you. I wanna hone in on a couple points here to build your faith for the day. You know, the Lord's not saying when you're out and about, you can't pray to me. But the Lord does not want you to make prayer a show. So you can pray to the Lord in your heart. You can even pray out loud, quietly, under your breath, commune with the Father, talk to the Lord all throughout the day. He loves to hear your voice. He loves to walk this life leading you, actually. And he wants He wants to commune with you, right? And you can pray in your heart. You can meditate on the Lord. May the meditations of our heart be pleasing to the Lord today. But there's a place of prayer the Lord wants you to be in, and that's he wants you to go away in the secret place where nobody knows you're going to pray, but you're at home. You go to your innermost room, and there you pray to the Lord, and the Bible says the Lord is there with you in secret. You know, when nobody else sees you, the Lord sees you. And he says, when you seek me in private and you pray to me in the secret place, in your innermost room, and nobody knows you're there, The Father says, I know you're there. Not only do I know you're there, I'm with you there. I see you and I'm with you there. And it says, then your Father who sees everything will reward you. I love that. The Lord will reward you with with a richness of his presence, with a richness of his word when you go out into people in the open. And it's a beautiful thing. Verse 7. When you pray, don't babble it on and on as the Gentiles do. Don't just keep bringing up the same requests to the Lord. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Now, if you want to see somebody saved that you know, or you, you want to see people grow in the Lord, continually bring that up before the Lord. But don't think the more I talk, the more the Lord hears me. He hears you the first time. The Bible says the Lord already knows what you need. But sinners think that Their prayers are answered merely by repeating words again and again. Don't be like them, for your Father knows exactly what you need even before you ask Him. Isn't that a beautiful thing? God already knows what you need, but you need to come and bring it to God. And you need to come to Him in faith and enjoy His presence and get in His presence and let Him wash over you with His love. Let His peace guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Oh, what great reward we have for serving the Lord Jesus, the joy of the Lord, the satisfaction of knowing the Lord, the peace of God resting in our hearts. These are all tangible things that we can experience. And listen to this. He says, pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Praise God. 